Alright, YouTube, I'm back with uh, part two here, and I will be showing you right now some more malicious links. Um, let's see, we got this one right here, and it was... And that's dead. I'm going to go to the malware domain list and I'll get us a few more links. And I'll see what we can find. Let's see. Finally got one. And it's detected and by the cloud scanner alert. Trojan wear. Clean that. It's isolated. Run it and nothing happens. Before you've seen that CMD or as in command prompt pop up and basically it did nothing since it was in the sandbox. This one is See, I think this is a fake antivirus, I'm not sure. Clean, and we're good to go. As you can see in the uh, system tray at the bottom, you can see whenever the system is, uh, or whenever it's scanning, like right now it's scanning the file it's on, with the webpage, whenever you see like those arrow things going through the shield, or such and such, like that. And let's see, we got that one was dead. Trojan, oh uh, no, I think I did that one already. Let's see, a Zeus, Trojan. And this one is redirecting me to Google for some reason. I have no idea why, but it is. And same with this one. Sorry about that. Let's see, this one is automatically load. It's, uh, you can either sandbox it, allow it, or block it. I'd uh, recommend Block since it's not the program that you use every day. You're just downloading off the internet. If you want to try it, click Sandbox or such. If you know it's a good program, allow it, but I wouldn't allow it if it's a virus. And then Sandbox is if you just want to try it. But I'm going to block it since it's not a good program. You try to run it. And this comes up again, just block it. And then it'll say it's not allowed to run because uh, you don't have this permission and such and such. It's because it's not allowed to run because it doesn't have the permission to run due to you just blocking it. So click OK and then that should be good to go. Let's see what we got next. Uh, Trojan, I don't know what this one does, I've never heard of this before. We're going to run it. Um, Let's see. See what else we can find. I'm trying to find a fake page scanner. I'm going to pause the video really fast. I'll be right back and try to find... Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's see. A fake page scanner is what I'm looking for. I'm going to show you what it is and try not to come in contact with it. If you do, I'm going to tell you how to get out of it. It's sort of an identity stiller. If you get sucked into one of these pages, don't fall for it. It's not really the real thing, but... 
Let me see, wait a second, I'm still trying to look for one. Let's see. Just search it. Let's see if it'll come up. Actually, it's on their fake scanner page, I think. Uh, this isn't right. It's under fake scanner page, I believe. Yeah, or something like that. There we go. Got a few that come up. I just did that one. It's dead. This one, hopefully it's not dead. Yeah, it's gone. Dead. Let's see this one. Hopefully it'll be good. And this one's going to work. Okay, there you go. You see message from web page. I think that's what this is. I can't really see it, but Windows Security uh, has found a few, or what if that says, I can't really read it right now, but it says something about it's fake and it found some malware and stuff on your computer. But to tell you the truth, if this is a real thing, it would not have spelling errors or punctuation not correct. So if you normal person or average user would click OK, then this would pop up and you'd get, um, you've been infected with Trojans, you get the Windows Security Alert, like it's real. Click, if you click Remove All and Such, Run. This will actually download an antivirus, but it's not really an antivirus. It'll have no security on it at all. It's actually downloading a virus whenever you're trying to fix the viruses that it says it has, but it doesn't really have any. And this is just to suck you in to get their get your credit card number off of you and steal your identity and such. But let's see, you got right here, you block it because it's a virus, of course. And let's see. Like I said before, if you guys have any requests, please uh, feel free to ask, comment. Uh, to the uh, video below or private message me whatever you feel comfortable doing uh, I'd be happy to help you if uh, you have any problems or anything now I'm gonna run a uh, scan with Komodo and I'll see how it did overall and I'll be back in a few minutes after this scan completes okay we're back and it's found zero objects and let's see now I'm going to run a scan with malware bytes as normal and once this loads up I'm going to update and then I'm going to run a scan and yeah, we got an update coming through let's see we got update finished and we have Scanner, full scan, we're going to run this full scan, and once this full scan is done, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and it's found uh, six objects. You click show results, and you can see a few anti uh, uh, rootkits, malware, trojans, and such and that. But basically, they're all in the temporary internet files. And they can't harm your computer because they're all in the sandbox and they don't have permission to run on your computer. The only way you can they can run on your computer is if you, if you give them permission and take them out of the sandbox. But if you download CCleaner or uh, anything like that, like a registry cleaner, uh, you can fix that problem. Now I recommend using Komodo Internet Security and Malwarebytes. They're both good programs. Uh, I really encourage you downloading the Komodo Internet Security Premium, free the free version. They give you a lot for free: uh, soft or uh, antivirus, firewall, and sandbox. Now, for Vast, it's a, another free antivirus, but it has uh, you would have the sandbox not included or anything, just the antivirus. So. Let's see, I'm going to tell you right now who uh, asked me to, or who gave me the advice to redo this. Um, I want to thank uh, 
Aaron, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, but it's 41, or if that's your last name, whatever, uh, you can see right here, and, uh, thank you for, um, looking at my video, uh, I'm asking if you guys will please comment, rate, and subscribe, and, like I said, if you have any requests, please feel free to ask, and I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you later.